what's going on everybody today's a beautiful day in the six you know what i'm saying uh you probably seen the post that i did on instagram yesterday right up here but as you guys probably tell from the title of the video i just got some packages i heard it's delivered one of them is some lights that i'm waiting for but also the iphone 15 lineup you know what i'm saying so without further ado let's get to it man let's go that and the amazon package is it only one? Only one. Alright, let's go. By the way, shout out to Apple. You know what I'm saying? They, they hook your boy up real nice. Alright, so I'm addressing this one, but this one should be all the new iPhones in here. Yes, sir. Alright, so we got all the iPhone cases. The iPhone 15 right there, 15 regular. The Pro in the blue, that's nice, 15 Pro. The pink, and this is gonna be my daily driver right here. The iPhone 15 Pro Max in natural, neutral titanium. Natural titanium? Neutral. Neutral titanium. We also got some cases from today's sponsor, Rhino Shield, because you don't wanna get your brand new titanium iPhone scratched up. So they have the clear cases, they have the solid suit lineup, and also my favorite, which is the mod NX cases. But I'll talk about these more in detail because right now we have to just jump in and unbox these new iPhones. All right, guys, so we have all the brand new iPhone 15 lineup right here. We have the pink which everybody's been hyping up, but to be honest, I've seen it and it looks pretty good. So the pink iPhone 15 Plus, the yellow iPhone 15, the blue titanium iPhone 15 Pro, and this is gonna be my daily driver, my baby right here, the neutral titanium iPhone 15 Pro Max. So we have to do like, we're just gonna unbox, I think, the yellow one first. So let's put all the pros to the side and the pink one, and let's take a look at this yellow. So this is the yellow. I got this in what? 512 gigs. So as usual, nothing really changed with the unboxing. It's the same as in last year. Like you just have this little tab. All right, so here we go. Oh, by the way, they do have like a little iPhone sign right here, which is yellow too, but this is it. So it's almost like a pastel yellow color. We do have braided cables this year, which is nice. And it's also USB type C. So all these new iPhone 15 models come with USB type C, which is good. And inside we have designed by Apple in California. And of course you get the SIM ejector tool because here in Canada, we still have our SIM cards. That's a W for Canada right there. And then we have our Apple stickers and that's basically it. Simple Apple like unboxing experience that we all know and love. But one thing I really wish that they had was the colored USB type C braided cable, but you know, we can't get everything. Oh, this feels nice. So it's almost like a frosted glass back. It's aluminum, but whoa, it feels nice. Sheesh. Okay. So first thing first, what's really new with the new iPhone 15 model is of course we have that dynamic island. And honestly, dynamic island is nothing too crazy, but my favorite feature with dynamic island so far over the year has been like just how it works whenever I'm ordering stuff. For example, on Uber, whenever I order Uber Eats or something like that, I could just literally see what's happening. I don't have to open the app to see how far the delivery guy is and it just keeps tracks of everything. So to me, that's the best use case of dynamic island. Otherwise, I don't really care for it, but they've brought it over now to the 50 models. But what Apple really did this year is infuse color in the glass for the very first time. So if you look on the lens right here, you can see that it's yellow, right? And that's the first time ever that they've done that, which is, I think it's pretty cool that they have the technology to do such a thing. And taking a look at the bottom, you can see it's more rounded corners and USB type C port that we all appreciate nowadays. There's a lot of things you could do, like charge other iPhones with the USB type C port. You could charge up your AirPods with the USB type C port. And that's something I always wish Apple had and now it's here. All right, so I'm gonna just put this to the side. We're gonna boot everything up, but let's look at this pink one. That everybody's been going crazy over. I posted it on my Instagram, and especially the girls. They've just been going crazy over the pink one. And I'm not gonna lie, I already unboxed this one, guys, because I was just excited to see it. And it does live up to the hype. The pink is really nice. So, whew, this is, you know what I'm saying? This is the way to go. Like, ladies, let me know what you think about this pink one. No, you don't get pink iPhone stickers, Apple stickers, it's just the same thing. I'm not gonna show you guys every, every iPhone, but you just get white stickers every single time, so no. 
all right you still get that braided cable so let's just put the box to the side it's nothing too special but what's really special is this pink color so this is the 15 plus so it's 6.7 inches compared to the regular iphone 15 which is 6.1 inches you don't really lose anything in terms of performance or gain a better um, image quality or anything going for the bigger model. You're only going for the bigger model if you like to have bigger phones and you're rather to have that bigger display. Some people appreciate the smaller devices. Look at the edges. Really nice how Apple just made this super smooth. So it's aluminum. You don't get that new action button that you do get on the Pro model. So you still have that volume ringer switch, which is not bad. It's cool. Still nice. And man, Wow, this pink is blessing. That's all I'm saying. This pink, if I don't know, guys, would, would you cop this? Would I get you'd cop the pink? Yeah, <laughs> you get it for your girlfriend? Mm -hmm. Damn, that's a that's a good boyfriend right there. Boyfriend points increase. Like, I'm sure, like, if you have a girlfriend and you get you like you surprise her with this, like. You're locked in for life, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> One thing I was really upset with is that Apple didn't release a purple iPhone 15 model. Like, how could you do that? All right, so this is a quick comparison between last year's iPhone 14 Plus and this year's iPhone 15 Plus. As you can see, basically the same dimensions. In terms of weight, they do feel the same. I'm not sure if they are, but as you can see, the Apple logo is in pink because of that new infused glass where they infuse the color into the glass, which is really nice. And as, as you guys can see, the glass up here is also in pink. Looking at the sides, you guys can see how smooth it is this year. It has rounded corners, so it feels way better to hold in the hand. It's not like sharp edges hitting you on your pinky. Like you could just really rub your hands around this, um, the bezels, and it just feels really good. That's one thing I could say. Feeling the hand this year has increased times 10. Screen brightness. So we do have a brighter display with the iPhone 15 Plus this year. 2,000 nits of brightness versus the 14 Plus, which is only 1,000 nits of brightness. And it's evident. Just looking at it, I could see it. And yeah, one thing though, it's still that same 60 hertz refresh rate. You don't get 90 hertz or that 120 hertz that you get on the ProMotion displays on the iPhone 15 Pro models. So. There's nothing really improved there, but what has improved on the 15 models is that we can now have a faster chip. So we do get that same chip that was in the iPhone 14 Pro last year, the A16 Bionic chip, which is now in the iPhone 15 Plus. So performance has increased. With iOS 17, you could also expect a better battery life for the battery optimization. And yeah, so far, I'm really liking how these new devices feel. Of course, this is just a first look at my just impressions, showing you guys what it looks like. And I'm gonna show you guys some camera samples as well, so don't worry. Because I've seen a couple of uh, questions on Instagram, like what's the difference between the iPhone 14 Plus and the iPhone 15 Plus like cameras, you know what I'm saying? So yes, they look identical, but this new iPhone right here now shoots 24 megapixels. You have to make sure you enable resolution control if you want to get the 48 megapixel option right here. So you'll see this little sign that has H-E-I-F. When you guys enable that, you now have 48 megapixel camera option on your iPhone 15 Plus. So by default, you're shooting 24. If you think that's gonna take up too much storage, you could dial it down to 12. But honestly, guys, I would say leave it on the default 24 megapixel. That's where you're gonna get it, the crispiest shots. And yeah, that's what's really new. And also, we also have a new lens. So even though it has two lens, on the back, we have this new optical two times zoom, which is super sharp. So you have ultra wide, main, and that two times optical zoom this year on the 15 plus. Some other small things with the 15 plus is that portrait mode has also improved. So now if you're taking a portrait picture and even if you didn't want to take a portrait picture and you just took a picture of someone, pets or something like that, later on, if the iPhone thought it was a good image for a portrait, it will then use software to make sure that you could dial in that portrait mode effect so you don't have to actually go into portrait to enable it. So for example, if I want to take a picture of this cause figure right here and I'm, you know, regular, just taking a picture in the regular photo app, you know what I'm saying? Just, just a regular photo app. And then I take it, I go home, I'm like, damn, this would have been a good portrait image. Now, if the, the phone figured out that it had like, it was in focus, it had face recognition and everything, it will give you the option to dial in that, you know, portrait mode effect, which is really cool. So you could do it after the fact that you've taken the image and also you still have that regular portrait mode option. 
So he could slide over to the portrait mode page and he could play around with things like the natural light, the stage light and all that. So Apple did not remove the portrait mode menu, but they just gave you the option to just take regular pictures. And if you thought that it should have been a portrait, you could do that after the fact. Really cool. Now, the last thing I really want to touch on with the iPhone 15 plus models is that yes, it has that brand new USB type C port, but just bear in mind that it's a slower transfer speeds compared to the iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max models that has USB C3 and the iPhone 15 plus has USB C 2.0. So that's just something you guys should know. Yes, it works, but just know that it's as a slower data speed. I feel like some people might have not known that, but yeah, that's it, iPhone 15 plus. The two colors that I have, the yellow and also the pink, which one I like more? Pink for sure. Let's jump on to the big boys. All right guys, so now time to unbox the big leagues, the pro models, the titanium stuff, the good stuff that everybody has been talking about recently, the iPhone 15 Pro and the iPhone 15 Pro Max. And of course, I'm gonna go with the blue titanium first because this is my baby right here. The neutral titanium, but yeah, let's get it. Nice unboxing experience as usual. Remove that. These two little tapes that's holding it together. Oof, oof. Okay, blue titanium. It kind of reminds me of Sierra Blue. No, Sierra Blue. Yo, this is how small the, the, the 15, like, I'm so, yo, no, wait, hold on. This camera bump looks massive. Quickly, I'm gonna just compare, if you guys remember Sierra Blue. So this is the new titanium blue and this is Sierra Blue. So this is the iPhone 13 Pro right here. So you guys can see how massive the cameras I've gotten over the last two years. Wow. Okay, the sides. Yo, I love how it feels. Mm -hmm. The new iPhone is lighter too, because they use titanium this year, which is 10% lighter than aluminum, but inside they did use aluminum. Only on the outer side, they use titanium. Now, a lot of people have been complaining about fingerprints, and if you guys look close, you could already see the fingerprints forming, which does not look good, but it is what it is. Let's go ahead and turn this on. Of course, my bad, inside the box, you get USB Type-C and also the paperwork. And yes, we do have that SIM card slot because in Canada, we still have the SIM card tool, the SIM card support. Sorry for all you Americans, but here we go. Da -na -na -na. Boot up. Da -na -na -na. I have to use the Pro version, the Pro Max version. Like I feel like the 15 Pro is just too small for me. I do have large hands, so I don't know. It feels like an iPhone mini right now. The 15 Pro in blue titanium. Honestly, I'm not a huge fan of the blue titanium. I feel like I'd go with the black or the, the neutral titanium, but yeah, there it is. There's a lot we need to talk about this. So let me just go ahead and unbox my new daily driver real quick first. 15 Pro Max. <laughs> yes, sir. How much is this? One terabyte. You see, Apple knows me too good. They made sure to give me the neutral titanium in one terabyte. This is clean. Bro, this is clean. Holy. Oh my God. This is like, it looks like gray. I like it. I like the neutral titanium so far. USB-C cable, and of course, Apple sticker image. You already know, you already know. I don't need to talk about that. Let's, let's talk about this. So, iPhone 15 Pro Max, neutral titanium. It's looking spiffy. It feels lighter, I could already tell. It's nothing too crazy, but it is a little bit lighter. Let's grab my iPhone. Oh, this purple case, man. This deep purple, I can't leave the deep purple. Anyways, let's take off this moment of silence. Oh, I can see the edge to edge display. It's not edge to edge, but it's, it's thinner displays, thinner bezels. Oh, why am I excited, bro? Like, it's just, a, it's just a new phone, like, chill out, buddy. This is not, oh yeah, it's way lighter. All right, so let's weigh it. So iPhone 15 Pro Max, 222 grams compared to the iPhone 14 Pro Max, which is 241 grams. So a little bit of improvements, nothing too crazy, but you can definitely feel it. Yeah, man, just looking right around the iPhone 15 Pro Max. I like the design this year. It feels good in the hand. I'm excited to start using this as my daily driver. We have the sleep button, the new 
action button over here, which is set by default. You have to hold it to put the phone in silent, which is pretty interesting. This is this is where it's at right here. Feel it. What do you think? Sheesh. Yeah. <laughs> you like it, right? I feel, I feel the titanium. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice, bro. This is what the back looks like. Nice, a frosted glass back. Take a look at the sides. USB type C port. On this side, we got the SIM card tray, action button, volume up and down, and the top. Nice, I like it. You know, it's not crazy of a difference compared to like the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Like, I'm just trying to look at the cameras. They look pretty much the same in terms of size, but I could definitely see all the scratches coming in. So you definitely want to get a case on it. And thanks to today's sponsor, Rhino Shield, we do have a couple of cases for your devices and I'm gonna just talk about them real quick and show you which one's my favorite. Boom, so right here we have the clear case, which I know a lot of people are gonna go for. And this is for the iPhone 15 Pro Max. If you wanna show off that titanium finish, especially if you got the neutral titanium, we want everyone to see that you got the neutral titanium iPhone 50 Pro Max. Like you're not gonna pay that much money and not show it off. So here we have it. Ooh, this is nice. And of course, you guys know it's Rhino Shield, so you can customize these cases to your heart's content. For example, if you want a different color ring, you could do that online. You could switch out the buttons, make it unique, make it more you. Here we go, iPhone 15 Pro Max and the Rhino Shield clear case. This is nice. It fits snug. The buttons are super clicky. So this is the side profile you get. Also guys, the clear cases this year comes in four new colors. And I know you're gonna be asking, Siobhan, does the, the clear case yellow over time? Well, Rhino Shield says these clear cases does not yellow. And even if it does, by some magic that made it yellow, you have five year warranty. But yeah, this is the clear case for the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Rhino Shield, and of course, you have the solid suit. Boom. Now, this is a Rhino Shield classic right here, the solid suit case. It does come with MagSafe support. So, if you want to put like a MagSafe battery pack on it, if you want to put like tripods, anything that you want, it has MagSafe compatibility. And of course, it's a solid suit case, so you know it's built for protection. We're talking about up to 11 feet drop protection with their new proprietary shock spray technology. You get 360 degrees also of protection with the Rhino Shield phone case and the screen protectors. So this year, guys, the solid suit case from Rhino Shield comes in nine new colors, which is amazing. And the new grip does feel good in the hands. Pause. My favorite is the Mod NX because it's just full of design. So let's take a look at that. Boom, this is their Mod NX case. And it's called Mod NX because they made it super modular. So you could easily use it as a full case, which has this plastic back on here, or you could also just use it as a bumper. So. By just using it as a bumper case, you could still feel the titanium finish. And of course, I said before, Modern X, crazy customizations. So you do get a ring on the back that you could also switch out to change the colors. Of course, you could change the button colors as well. So you can just get super creative when it comes on to these cases from Rhino Shield. So yeah, if you're gonna pick up the new iPhone 15 series or even just want a case for your current phone to get just a new look and feel, Click the links down below to check out Rhino Shield. They also have cases for your AirPods and your Apple Watch. And of course, you guys know I got you. So if you use my code Siobhan10 at checkout, you'll get 10% off your next purchase. So just go out, get creative. You know what I'm saying? Get drippy with it. Use different colors to your liking. And yeah, Rhino Shield, first link down below. So the 15 Pro Max is setting up right now. And the first thing I can see is this new action button screen. So here we could customize the action button. So I think I'm a, honestly, I'm not really sure what I'll do with mine. I feel like I use the silent button a lot, but you could go into like silent mode, focus mode, d, &D. You could launch the camera app, which I don't think is really useful since you have the quick actions for the camera on the lock screen. Same thing with the flashlight. I think it's not really that useful. Voice memo, kind of useful. If you do news reporting or you're an artist or you just always want to talk to yourself, I think you could use that. The magnifier, I think shortcuts is gonna be the game changer. I'm gonna figure out something for shortcuts with the action button, accessibility, and you could just set it to no action. So right now, I'm gonna just try the camera option. Swipe up, Whew, first time on the iPhone 15. I'm, I'm gonna do a what's on my iPhone soon, guys, don't worry. So if we hold this down, boom, damn, it just launches the camera. And we could use that same button to take pictures 
which is really nice, nice touch. So if you're in like landscape mode, taking pictures like this, you could just use the action button to snap a few flicks and wow. Yeah, the phone, I, I probably just repeated it myself, but it just feels really good in the hand, this titanium finish. Now, what's really new with the iPhone 15 Pro Max or the 15 Pros is that new chipset inside. So it has the A17 Pro chip, which is 20% faster than its predecessor. So you already know that you could play like crazy games on this AAA games. It has ray tracing for the first time on a mobile smartphone, which is insane. So if you guys know about gaming, you know how complex ray tracing can get and this A17 Pro chip is handling it. Of course, Apple talked about all day battery life. They do it every year. So make sure you guys stick around, subscribe. If you don't wanna miss the day in the life, where I'll be testing the battery, putting it through its paces to see if it's all day battery life for real. I feel like what Apple really focused on this year, as usual, for the past couple years is the cameras. So we now have a new advanced 48 megapixel camera with an even larger sensor than the iPhone 15. You could shoot 48 megapixel raw images or 48 megapixel so H-E-I-F, so that's like Heath. So raw images is crazy. Like if you want to edit with Lightroom, you want to use my Lightroom presets, you want to shoot raw, which is going to take up more storage. But if you shoot 48 megapixel H-E-I-F images or Heath, I think they call it, it's not going to be raw, so it's going to be less, but it's still going to be 48 megapixels. So you can still zoom in, you could crop in, and it's going to save that detail. So it's really nice to see that they have the raw option and they have the HEIF option, just in case you're not going to play around with raw image so it could save a bit of storage. Now, Apple is saying that the iPhone 15 is carrying like several lenses this year because you have that new 24 millimeter option, 28 millimeter, or that 35 millimeter option all on the main camera. So you get three options. And I'm gonna go outside and you guys could like see exactly what I mean here. All right guys, so now we're outside. So we have this nice backdrop, people playing basketball, the city skyline in the back. And I'm just gonna demonstrate how this camera works and why I said there's like seven lenses. So first we're on the main right now. So I just snap a quick flick. Boom. Dial in to 28 millimeters. We could dial in again to 35 millimeters, which is pretty sick. Then you have the two times lens. Then the big five times optical lens. And you could even zoom in more all the way. Oh my God, the quality. And then you also have this little square to make sure that you're seeing what's going on. So let me just go all the way in to 25 times. Snap a flick right there. But I do think around 15 looks good. And if you want, you could swipe up and play with the dial as well. So if you want to get more granular in detail with that, you could do that as well. But you also feel a haptic feedback to know that you're on 28 mil, 24 mil, or 35 millimeters so yeah that's a quick demonstration of how it works so if you take it into hindsight you have ultra wide that's one lens not really but it is one times two three four five six and then that 170 makes seven lenses on your iphone which is insane so yeah quick demonstration that's how it works okay, so if you care about telephoto photography or you just want like a five times optical lens zoom lens you'd have to get the bigger model which i know a lot of people won't like also just keep in mind with the 15 pro max you won't get that three times optical lens anymore that's will be found on the 15 pro i feel like a lot of people are not talking about that and a lot of people don't know but just to clear that up that's some details you should know right there yeah i feel like it kind of sucks because a lot of people love the 6.1 <clears throat> inches and if you just want that new best camera, you have to get the bigger phone, which is, yeah, it's kind of sucks, but it is what it is. So that's what Apple is doing this year. And yeah, of course, when it comes to the cameras, night mode has also improved on the 15 Pro as well as the 15 Pro Max. But I, won't, I don't think I'll be able to test that because I want to get this video up as soon as possible. I'm trying to hit those algorithms. So don't worry, guys, I will be doing detailed videos on these features. Of course, you have cinematic mode that has also improved. And one thing I really want to test is that ProRes in log on the iPhone, that's just insane. So that's gonna give you improved dynamic range. You could use your own custom LUTs. And I'm just really excited to actually edit 
footage on my iPhone, shot on my iPhone in log. And lastly, of course, we have USB Type-C, three speeds, up to 10 gigabytes per second from copying um, files, like if you wanna copy those ProRes files, that's gonna come in handy. And of course, as I said before, you could charge up other devices. So if your friends, if you have a real friend and they have more battery than you, you both have iPhone 15s or even an Android, if it has USB type three power delivery and they have more, basically, if you put your two USB-C ports in, whoever has more power, it will take power from them and go to your iPhone, vice versa. If your iPhone has more power, it will go to the other phone. So it's not crazy speeds, but if you're in a pinch, it will come in handy for sure and you'll see who your real friends are in those desperate times. Now, when it comes to these phones every year, I hardly hear companies talk about improved speakers, this or that, but probably it has improved, I'm not sure. So let me just go ahead and test these speakers out real quick. So we have the iPhone 15 Pro Max, iPhone 14 Pro Max. Let's see if there's any real difference starting with the iPhone 14 Pro Max. This thing pro sound out the louder. It's deeper. Okay. Back to the iPhone 14. That's interesting. So the 15 Pro Max sounded a little bit deeper, not, not louder, but it was just a little bit deeper, but 15 Pro again. I don't even know what to say. I wouldn't say it's louder. They both will do its thing, but the 15 Pro Max just sounds a little bit more sort after but it's not anything crazy like it's not punching bass or anything like that but it sounds pretty good so in terms of the displays guys it's basically the same thing this year but if you look closely you could see the iphone 15 pro max has thinner bezels nothing insane you probably wouldn't even see it if i didn't call it out but you do have thinner bezels which is appreciated you know baby steps and yeah so that's gonna wrap it up for today's video guys that's everything you need to know about all the new iphone 15 models if you think i missed anything let me know down below in the comments will you be copying the new 15 series or you'll be skipping it let me know down below in the comments and of course the day in the lives are coming soon so i don't want anybody to be emailing me sending me dms dead threats calm down it's coming but as always guys remember love peace and tweaks signing out all right, so we came outside, your boy left the crib. So, you know, I love you guys. To come all the way out here? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say that. Yeah.